Hi there, this is Andy from Totally Forex, and in this video, we'll go over how to create, fund, and trade an account in Swiss Quote Broker. To begin, click the link on the video or the link below the video, and you will be redirected to the Swiss Quote website. Upon landing on the website, click the Start Trading or Ads button located in the middle of your screen. On the new page, you will be asked what type of account you're interested in opening. The process is similar for all accounts, but each one of them give you access to different markets. So prior to choosing, let's have a look at the account types offered here. Swissquote offer four account types, Standard, Premium, Prime and Professional, which is available only for eligible investors. The Standard account has spread starting from 1.5 pips, the Premium from 1 pip, the Prime is lower at 0.85 pips and the Professional account has pricing based on volume. When it comes to stocks, the fees are 3 cents per stock with 0.15% commission and a minimum transaction of $15 for the standard, 2 cents, 0.12% commission and a minimum transaction that of $12 for the premium, 1 cent, 0.09% commission and a minimum transaction of $9 for the prime account and last, the professional account has zero commissions. Besides the above differences, a significant parameter to get each tier is the minimum deposit. Standard is at $1,000, premium at $5,000, prime at $50,000, and last, the professional requires a deposit of $500,000 or half a million dollars. Despite the above differences, the accounts have many similarities such as leverage, which is 30 to 1 for the standard premium and prime, uh, while the professional can go up to 400 to 1. Maintenance margin, stop out levels, expert advisor eligibility, and cash deposit protection up to 100,000 euros as negative balance protection is offered on all account types with the exception of the professional account which has no negative balance protection. Now that we've finished that small detour with the account types Swiss code offers, let's head back and pick the type of category we want to open an account on. If you want to trade Forex, pick the Forex account for trading 3 million products, the trading one, and so on. I will proceed with Forex, but again, the process is the same for all of them. Great, on this step, you will be asked to enter your personal information. As mentioned earlier, dependless of what category you pick to open an account, this is the standard procedure for all of them. So please proceed and fill in the info asked, such as the first and last name, marital status, date of birth, nationality, legal address, and so on. To note here that the information used on this video is not real, as this is a dummy account. Having said that, and once you have filled all the info asked, click next step. In this step, you will be asked to provide information about your client profile, which includes employment status, tax residence, info, and so on. Please provide the info asked and click next. On step 3, you will be asked to pick a trading platform. The options for the Forex account is Advanced Trader, MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5. Given the fact that we have dedicated videos on both MT4 and MT5, which you can find on the links below the video, we will pick Advanced Trader so we can check their native platform. Feel free to pick the one best works for you though. Beside that, click what applies best to you on the wealth questions and once you finish, click next to review our entire application. Here you can check step by step the info you entered and if you spotted any mistake, you can head back and correct it. If you have entered all the info correctly, click submit. Congrats, your applications to open an account has been completed. Note here that at the end of your application, you will be given a username. Please keep that. As for your password, you will receive it through email or SMS, depends on what choice you made before. So click continue to authentication. You will be given a few options to verify yourself, which can be online, through video identification or by post. Click in the online identification, which we believe is the easiest and it is recommended by Swiss code here, will ask you to provide certain info from your ID card or passport, which is common for all the brokers these days. Then you will be asked to read and agree on a contract about opening an account, as well as provide a proof of address. That can be a utility bill, for example. Last, you can upload the required documents or any other supporting document. Assume you provide all the necessary ones, your account will be verified within hours. Now let's go back and log into our account and check what the platform looks like. 
Keep in mind that until you verify your account, you will always be prompted to complete verification. To experience the platform, we will use a demo account. To open a demo account, it's much simpler. Head to the main page, click Start Trading, and then Demo Account. You can sign in with your Google or Facebook account or just create an account. Fill in the info and click Submit. Congrats, you can now access the platform. Head to your email to retrieve your username and password and log in. Make sure you hit the login button below on that email as there's a demo login page. Enter your username and password and proceed. Great, we are in the advanced trader platform and ready to trade. I advise you to take the full tour to familiarize yourself with the platform, but we will proceed without it as we will do a walkthrough. Upon landing on the advanced trader platform, you will notice the forex purse on the left side of your screen and the charts on the right one. Currently, we can see more than 12 pairs with quick options to buy and sell and 4 charts, the EURUSD on a larger scale and 3 more below. Next to the chart, there's a toolbar where you can add indicators, Fibonacci lines and other tools to help you trade better. Below the charts and instruments, we have the panel where the positions, open orders and transactions will show up after placing orders. And last, on the bottom left of your screen, we can see the account balance, the unrealized profit and loss, the account equity and the margin level. The layout is customizable and if you move your mouse to the edges of each box, you can scroll it and edit it to a point. As you can see, I adjusted the charts and instruments to be larger. Once you find the layout that works for you, click on the top right side the word layout and then save my layout. To bring a new asset on the chart, you can click on the chart you want first. Let's say the euro versus USD until you see the blue color on the box, which means it is being highlighted. And then go to a pair you want to bring in, let's say gold versus USD. There you have it. To place an order, click the buy uh, or sell button on the area of the instrument. Let's buy some gold for example. There it is, our order has been placed instantly. If you want to change the quantity and pick a spot instead of a market, you can do it on the small box in the instrument area and click buy or sell again. Now, as you can see below the charts and instruments on the positions area, there are our open orders on gold. The quantity, open price, profit and loss can be seen there as well. Also, we can place stop loss or take profit. To do that, click the plus button on the pop-up window, enter the price you want and click apply. It is extremely easy actually. Now, these prices will be seen in your position area. To close the order, click the X button on the right side of the screen and on the pop-up window, hit close. Overall, the advanced trader platform offered by Swissquote is easy to use and having experience from any trading platform will definitely be a huge plus as the majority of them follow a similar logic. So you will have no major issues navigating and trading in it. Thank you for watching our how-to video. We really hope that it helped you create the right type of account for you. If it did, please leave a comment, like, subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss our upcoming videos which will expand from broker reviews and tutorials to indicators and strategies.